Hi everybody, here we are back again making another card. And this time uh, we're doing another Christmas card. And I'm starting with the red snowflake paper. We used this in the card before. And I'm cutting my uh, five and a quarter by four piece of background paper. There we go. Then I'm gonna grab a sticker, and I like this one right here. So I'm just gonna um, take it off the sticker sheet and put some mounting tape on the back. But I'm not gonna peel off the back of the mounting tape yet. I wanna make sure there's holes in the sides of the sticker. There was one, but I need to punch another hole. So I'm gonna do that. And this is so we can thread some ribbon. But before we do the ribbon, I kind of think this card needs um, just a little bit more on the front. I like this, but I think it needs something else. So I'm going to grab a piece of this green tree paper and I'm cutting a two inch strip by a five and a quarter inch strip. Or no, 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 sorry, two inches by four inches. Yeah, and I'm just going to place my sticker on there afterward but I want to ink my edges. I like to ink my edges. I mentioned this um, in the other video, but this card stock has a white core, and I like to get rid of that by inking those edges. So now I'm just adhering that green piece onto the background sheet. There it is. And now I can um, ink the edges of my sticker before I start using the ribbon. So I'm using um, the baker's twine, which I love this baker's twine. I use it a lot. So I'm just going to cut a piece long enough to thread through the hole and go around to the back side of the paper. like that. So I'm going to mount this down because it's so much easier to work with these strings and ribbons when the piece is actually set. So now I just need a smaller piece of ribbon to go in the other hole and that'll wrap around at the other side of the card. Now what I do with these ribbons is I turn the paper over, get them positioned right, and then I turn the paper over and I'll actually use some scotch tape on the back after I trim them. And that just holds those in place on the back. And do the other side. Yep. Now I'm going to fold my 8.5 by 5.5 piece of white card base. And I'm going to here adhere this background piece onto the white base. And it's just going to have a little border around the edges. And now it needs something. I just think it needs something. A little sparkle. Oh, well of course after I ink my edges. Then we're going to put on the little sparkles. And I'm going to use stickles. I love stickles. I just like to squeeze the bottle off on a uh, piece of scrap paper just to make sure you don't get a big blob on your card when you start. Then you're just going to squeeze little dots of the sparkle. This is glitter glue. Um, on, I'm just putting it on the center and the little spots of on the snowflakes on the red paper. When I get that done, I have to set the card aside and let it dry for 15 minutes at least. But it turns out really cute. When it dries, it's amazing and this card does not take very long to make. Thanks for watching.